Hi everyone, welcome back to the Ranger Shop. So if you've noticed, I haven't been posting videos for a while. And that's because we just got back from a really long trip, about an 8,000 kilometer trip. I took my converted cargo trailer and we went out west. So we traveled through the states, Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, and then all the way back. So if you want to stick around, I've got some of the pictures, uh, a little bit of a slideshow from those from that trip, uh, featuring the Ranger, of course. But I just want to give you a taste of what's to come on the channel. So I've got a lot of projects planned, and uh, if you'd like to like, subscribe, we can uh, grow the channel a little bit and even produce more videos. But the first video that we're going to put out is we're going to talk about our ABS system. So I've got an ABS light on and we're going to talk about why that is, uh, which sensor is causing the problem, how the ABS system works, and then how we can repair it. The second video is I want to switch my full-time hubs into manual hubs because I want to put a locker in the front end. So I've got this locker. It's just a drop-in locker. Um, I got that to put in the front end, but I don't want to run that with the full-time hubs. And also, I'm hoping for a little bit of gas mileage uh, increase because of that, the price of gas right now. So I've got these mile marker hubs we're going to be putting in. I've got some bearings on order, axles, and then the locker. So we'll do that. That's going to be the first big project we're going to do. Second big project is I want to supercharge the engine. So I was debating quite a bit about whether we should uh, buy another truck, maybe a full size truck, but I really like this small truck. Um, on its own, it gets better fuel mileage. Um, it's easier in the trails, it's easier backing up. And I've done a lot of work to it. I've fixed a lot of things on it. And then just to, to uh, get a different truck didn't make sense to me. So then the other option was either a five liter or a supercharger so we'll talk about that in the video that's coming up but let me know what you think uh, five liter or supercharge it's interesting look at the horsepower and torque numbers on a stock uh, explorer five liter look at those numbers and especially the weight of the motor and then it's interesting when you look at it uh, our four liter socks are actually very well built They've got the overhead cam already. They've got a very strong lower end in them. We're gonna run a low boost supercharger on it. It's very well proven. Now, there's a lot of people that have done it and it's probably the cheapest alternative to get the most horsepower out of the engine. So we're gonna combine that with my Ranger pulling this little lighter trailer. I think it's gonna be a perfect combination. But anyways, that'll be in a future video, it's coming. So we've got a lot of nice videos coming up. But one thing I just want to mention is if in the comments below, let me know what you want to see in the videos. Like, do you have a certain problem with your Ranger that you're struggling with? Uh, if we get a few people that uh, that's the problem they want, that they're struggling with, well then we'll, we'll get a video out on it, uh, specifically talking about how to fix that problem. But anyways, hope you enjoyed the slideshow. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.